Hi friends, welcome back. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is year, which is a Swedish or. Or. If you're wondering about the makeup that I'm wearing on my eyes, I'm wearing two different palettes. I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Gold Palette and the W7 24 Karat Gold Rush eyeshadow palette. So I compared the two because this is obviously a dupe for the Natasha Denona palette. So I'm having the W7 on this eye and the Natasha Denona on that eye. If you want to see that video, Links right up here. The face makeup I recorded for IG. Yeah. I saw Nicole Renee Cutler. You guys know that I love her. She's a cruelty free channel, and I will have her and her video linked down below. But the video that I'm going to link to first and foremost is a video that she did that she said was like kind of like, you know, one year later, the products that she still loves. So the product that she talks about like last year, about a year ago, that she still uses to this day. Because a lot of the times we talk about favorites and whatnot, and then we only talk about like new makeup. So the products that I'm talking about today is products that I've been using for a year-ish, maybe more, maybe a little bit less, but still like around a year time mark. So let me know, like pause the video, maybe you have an idea of some products that I'm going to mention. Don't know, but let's start off with the first and maybe most obvious product, which is the Paulina palette. This is a palette that I did in collaboration with Blush Tribe. Some of my new subscribers don't really know that I have a palette, but I do actually have this palette. Don't know if it's still in stock when you see this. Currently when I'm filming, I think there's around like maybe 20 palettes or so-ish left. So I don't think it's in stock anymore, but perhaps maybe one or two. But this is anyway what the palette looks like. And it's very, very different from the makeup that I'm using currently you guys have seen me tone down a lot but i still love to use like the shimmers and i love to do like maybe a pink look but maybe not as cut creasy and like as vibrant i still love to use this and something else on the lid you know you know just take this in your crease and then something on the lid it's so beautiful obviously i am biased and obviously i am still going to cherish this so much it's once in a lifetime deal so of course to me it's like woo, you know <laughs> so i love it still and i probably will do that for like the rest of my life so let's talk about a bronzer this bronzer i mean i see some people use this and i see them <laughs> saying like oh this is the paulina bronzer and i'm like what <laughs> because I've talked about it so much. I have actually not talked about it that much on my channel lately because I've been trying to use up some other bronzers in my collection. I'm trying to, now that I do shop my stash, kind of rotate a little bit more between my makeup just so I get use out of everything that I have. But the bronzer that I'm going to talk about is the Bomb Bahama Mama bronzer. No, it's Take Home the Bronze bronzer in the shade Oliver. This is the lightest shade. It comes in three different variety tones and they are basically uh, described as like a non-orange bronzer so they are a little bit more neutral cool tone ish i wouldn't say that this is a cool tone one but it is definitely neutral and it's so beautiful on the skin it doesn't look like matte and crusty as some bronzers can do but it just looks very very healthy and beautiful and it's like the perfect shade to my skin tone and the funny thing is that i've actually used one of these up and then i have repurchased it because that is how much i loved it and i did not reach for a single other bronzer when i was doing my makeup off camera and that is why i've now done like shop my stash and such so i kind of rotate so i use everything and not only reach for my favorite makeup so i reach for makeup that i still love but maybe it's not my favorite let's talk about the other bronzer that i'm also having same thing here i have not heard anyone else talk about this except for i think angelica Luremar has mentioned it in some of her videos actually um and she i think bought it because i raved about it but maybe i'm just 
crediting myself. <laughs> I don't really know. But I love this palette. This is so beautiful. And I've told so many of you guys to purchase it. Or I have recommended it. So many of you guys have purchased it. Because I have talked about it. And this is the Revolution Pro 4K Bronzer Palette. They have one that is warm. And then they have one that is cool tone. Now, don't be alarmed by this palette. It is definitely used and abused. Because... It's perfect. Okay, it's not perfect. If I could change one thing, I would actually remove this bronzer because I never really used it. But hey, maybe I will someday. So in the beginning, I used, I think, this shade and this shade the most. Now I actually use both of these the most. So I, I kind of rotate a little bit because I used to contour with these two. Now I don't contour as much, I would say, like a more bronze. It's very, very rare that I actually contour today. I had a thing for contour this year, like in the more maybe middle of the year, maybe beginning like February, March, April or something. Now I'm a little bit like, mm, I'm just gonna bronze. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit old. No, but um, this is a beautiful palette. And again, it's very, very smooth looking on the skin. I would say that this looks a little bit more smooth than the bronzer from the balm that I recently featured. It has a lot of kick up. These two actually have the most kick up. This has a little bit less, which is why I've hit pan in these and not this one, but it doesn't matter. I dropped this once this year and I was like, okay, it broke on me. It broke on me. So I'm going to repurchase it, but it didn't break. So <laughs> I'm happy. But that was like the first thought that I had. I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Revolution's website and I'm going to purchase it right away now because I need it. But I didn't have to. I get questions about the product that I'm gonna show you all the time. I never got a question about it about a year ago when I started using it, but now I get questions every single week about this product. People are always like, oh, "What's what product are you using? What product are you using? And I think that it's obvious why I get these questions. So it's a mascara. People always ask me what kind of mascara I use. And that is because I've used false lashes before. So um, of course, people aren't going to question or ask me what mascara are you using because they can't really see my lashes. They see the false lashes. But now I actually never really use false lashes anymore. Maybe I'm going to use it for like New Year's and such and Christmas, but not like a day to day thing. So I have been using the same mascara every single day, almost. So this is the Essence You Better Work. They have two different mascaras, but this is the one that I've been faithful to the most. This is the Length and Definition Mascara. It's waterproof. It actually says that it's like gym and waterproof but it is waterproof which is a must for me just because of the fact that my lashes touch my face so if it's not waterproof it smudges which i'm not a fan of now i've actually combined it with this mascara so i'm just gonna show you like i have two here but this is the um volume and curl mascara so this I mean, I would say I actually like this a little bit more right now, but I use both of them daily. And the best thing is the price. I buy them on a Swedish website that is called Lyko 438 Swedish Chromes, I think it is. But I would say that it's around like maybe $3, three and a half dollars perhaps. I mean, it's no money. And I, I recently recorded an empties video and I featured all of the mascaras that I had. I think I had like eight of these mascaras or something. If that video is up, I'll link it right up here just so you can go ahead and watch it, but I swear by this mascara. I want to talk about a product that I don't actually have right here, and that is because I've used it up, so I, I haven't repurchased it. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it, but it is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. That foundation is one of my top two. I've said this so many times, but I have two top twos, and that is the Physicians Physicians for the Healthy Foundation and the Ardell Foundation. I wanted to feature the Ardell Foundation in this video, but I saw that I actually only discovered it six months ago, and I was like, what? I could have sworn it was like 
a year ago, but it wasn't, but I still love that. So both of these are like my two holy grails. They are like the top of the top. They are very, very different from each other. And that's why, like if I could purchase two foundations and only keep two foundations for the rest of my life, those are the two that I would have. And the Physicians Formula Foundation is so beautiful because it really, really looks like your skin, but better. Doesn't matter like if you apply it on whose ever skin. I've seen a lot of people use this and I've seen a lot of people put it on their face. And I always think that each and every one doesn't matter if you have perfect skin, acne scars, or a lot of pimples on your face. It looks beautiful no matter what. And it has like a lighter coverage, but it just looks super fresh and healthy. I prefer it when people don't set it. I never set it and that's the way I like to use it. And if I wear it on a day to day and it later on fades, I'm gonna say this right now, all foundation fade on me because I am a sweaty person right around my mouth area. So I always like to do this. So the foundation always removes there. So I need something that fades gracefully, something that no, gracefully, I mean. That's something that fades but still looks beautiful. It doesn't look like you have a large patch and that is probably why I don't like a full coverage foundation because if you just remove like a little, little piece right here, you, could see, you can see that and it looks wrong. So the Physicians Formula Foundation is mwah. So I am like any other makeup enthusiast. Highlight is something very, very special. And it's hard to find that perfect one that is like, this works for any occasion and this is like my top number one. Doesn't matter which category it is actually, I feel like it's hard to pinpoint my n favorite foundation. If I had to pick bet between like the Physician Formula and the Ardell Foundation, or my absolute favorite bronzer, or my absolute favorite whatever it is. But here, it's not hard at all because I've, I've, raved, I've raved about this product as well. So this is the Pixie Highlight. This is a duo. This is called the Glowy Gossamer Duo and I use the shade Subtle Sunrise. The bad thing about this is that I don't use this side. I'm, I'm holding my dog. <laughs> So let's see, I'm not using this side, but I love using this side. And the same thing as the, the Balm Bronzer. I have actually finished one of these highlights and repurchased it because that's how much I love it. And I have a pretty big dent in this. I have like a pretty big pan in this already because I use it so, so much. And I think that it's absolutely beautiful. I would say that it is like a jelly formula, but it's not like the ColourPop highlights, which I, find be to be a little bit hard actually to to get on my face and to look smooth and even this doesn't have that problem this just looks beautiful in the skin and this is blinding it all comes down to what kind of brush you use you can get get it to be very sh sorry you can get it to be very sheer as well if you don't want a, like a boom highlight not every day. that's not what I'm going for like on a day-to-day -day basis or like an everyday and then you can just kind of share this out every time someone asks me like which highlight would you recommend I would say if I could only say one it's this one I do have another eyeshadow palette that I wanted to talk about uh, this is an eyeshadow palette that I use often um, I wouldn't say that I use it every single week but I use it every single month I use it very very often like as i said i do shop my stash which means that i focus on what's in my shop my stash for about two weeks and then i rotate but i don't use only those palettes that's in my shop my stash because on occasion I reach for something else. And this is a palette that I have raved and raved about. I never thought that I would love it as much as I do. And I'm so happy that I do now. This is the Dose of Color Friend Cation Palette. This is beautiful just look at the packaging like it's absolutely beautiful and it is in stock at beauty bay so you can go ahead and purchase it uh, i have an affiliate code no i have an affiliate link to beauty bay and revolution i have to urban decay i have to some swedish websites like Liku and such so if you do want to shop at those websites i really appreciate it if you just click the link and then shop obviously it gives me cash when you do that but i never cash out the money because I don't really care about the money. What I care about is when Beauty Bay reaches out to me and they're like, hey, we wanna send you some products that we sell on our website. And I'm like, 
Oh, yes. You guys saw that I got the M -M 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 Mitchell palette, and that is because a lot of you guys have um, used my code. So they see, okay, this person is bringing us sales. So, of course, they want to send it to me. So that's why, like, I want the free stuff. At least I'm being honest about it. Anyway, <laughs> it's about the palette. I have pants in this palette as well. I have a pan in this shadow. I was sure that I had it in the blue, which is strange because I just used this palette. Hmm. I did actually feature this pretty recently. On my Instagram, I did a little IGTV video with it, and I actually used this green when I bought this palette it's so funny but when I bought this palette I didn't like this green I was like no it's way too dirty green now I love it uh, but the mattes in this palette is really really nice and I feel like it's just normal neutrals but the the fun part is the shimmers and they are of course very glittery they are very very different from other shimmers that I have seen. Uh, the two shades that I don't use that often is actually this one because you guys know I don't um, it's not really my cup of tea. And then this matte I don't use that often because I feel like I only can use it with this one. So usually I stick to the other shades but it's a fantastic palette. I could feature way more products in this video, but I'm just gonna feature one more product. And if you like this concept, I can do another one and feature more products. I have a lot of more products that I'm using on the daily, actually, like the Milani eyeshadow primer, spoiler, I use that every single day. But that was not the product that I was going to talk about. The product that I was going to talk about is actually this one, which is a lip gloss from The Balm. <laughs> no, from Dose of Colors. This is a gloss in the shade Can You Not? I bought this and the shade Undressed. The shade Undressed is from a completely different collection, but they look pretty much the same. But the problem is that the shade Undressed had like small, small balls in it. So it felt like, you know, small gritty balls. So I actually tried to focus on using that one up. And then when I go out or when I want to reapply the lip gloss, I use this shade instead, just so I get some use out of the other one because it just, oh, uh, there's something like, why put small gritty balls in it. It feels like you have dirt on your lips, in my personal opinion, and it's not really flattering because it looks like you have dirt on your lips, so. This gloss is like a very, very neutral shade, and the Dose of Color glosses are very, very opaque, so it's not like you're just gonna get a gloss. Um, it's swatched right here, just so you can see kind of what it looks like, but it is a warmer, neutral, uh, very very pretty. It's very very comfortable. I still love it, but I don't think it's worth the money if I'm gonna be totally honest, especially not the Swedish money that I pay for it. Maybe if you live some other place and you can get it at a good deal or something, but I feel like it doesn't last that long on the lips, but it's so comfortable that I don't mind it. I think it's a beautiful gloss and I would probably repurchase this if I run out of it. That was it. So I do hope you liked this video and if you did, please tell me and I will do another part to this. Um, if you wanna subscribe, please do that and um, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you did not like it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.